Well, I think of art as an avenue to the, as like an avenue to mastery. When I think of mastery, I think everyone can kind of find their own path to mastery. It doesn't have to be art. Some people's path to mastery is music. Some is fighting. And no matter what path you choose, maybe it is art. That's where you gain all your life insights from. If I were describing my style, I'd probably say it was very graphic. I never, never was really into the, like the hyper realism, even though I do like to get that accuracy, especially in the faces that I do. My two heroes are David Cho, who's on my arm here, and James Jean, and they're complete yin and yang. You know, one is graffiti artist from LA, one is fine art student from New York, one's a, like a went to prison, one worked with Vogue. They're just completely different, but they're so amazing in their own right. When I first started, I'd always kind of poo-poo on the technical side of things. I thought it's all intuitive, it's all style. But then I learned that that's not the case. You know, you gotta know your fundamentals. There are people who just rely on style alone, and you can tell that there's none of that technical prowess there. And that always bugged me when I see that. You know, so I really try to put in the time to learning, you know, anatomy, lighting, color, all that kind of stuff. Because it does improve the art, you know? Even even when you have your own style, you gotta know the basis. You have to have a base to build upon. When I first started doing art when I was super young, it's all superheroes, Dragon Ball Z characters, super ripped, manly men. And uh, I don't know, in high school eventually it was like a point of pride if I could like draw a girl and my friends were like, whoa, she's kinda hot. So I don't know, it, I didn't see it like that. I was more like, I obviously think women are very beautiful. Can I replicate that? Can I make a piece of art that's very beautiful to look at? When I started leaving my art outside, it was all just exhibitionism, just feeding my own ego. You know, I was doing it in a place where I could for sure be seen by other people as they're walking by, you know, catch their attention, get their curiosity. As I went on, it was still kind of for me, but for different reasons. I started doing it more so because I'd get it really in my head, you know, like maybe I'd be having a pity party because my art's not selling, or maybe I would be, you know, full of ego, like, hey, I'm a great artist, you know? But uh, either way, I, I'd realize I'm just doing too much talking. I gotta, I gotta just make something. And that's why these big pieces have to come out because it's big catharsis. And I don't know, it's just important for me every now and then to just the big unwind just doing those huge pieces once i leave the art under the bridge which is usually where it goes i really have no idea what happens to them i like to go take pictures of them immediately and then just kind of leave them and uh sometimes i'll see sometimes i'll go on like instagram or facebook and look up like van city art and see like who's taking pictures of it and, I, and i'll find it people are taking pictures they're sharing it they don't know who did it which is fine with me sometimes i think like ooh. It'd be cool if someone has like a giant door with my art in their house right now. One time I actually found one under the bridge and uh, someone had been using it as a bed. I don't mind where it goes. I, I like, I feel good when it's there as long as possible. If it's there for a few days and lots of people get to see it, that's what's important to me. What happens with it, I'm not too concerned ever. I hope my work is seen. I hope, knowing my own personality, how impulsive I could be, I hope I can stay with this the rest of my life. That's what I plan on doing. See where it takes me. Uh, I really don't know where it'll take me. Uh, maybe I'll be a homeless guy selling Sharpie drawings for a couple bucks. Maybe I'll just be living a quiet life, but have my own kind of mastery by then. Maybe I'll make it. That'd be kind of cool.